Yo, what is up everyone? So we know Chapter 5 Season 4 has been out for just around a week now and with tournaments coming up around the corner, in today's video I'm going to share with you 5 tips that you must know to help dominate this season in Fortnite. These are going to be tips ranging from how to properly abuse the meta and use the new guns and also ranging from just general things which I've found out which you need to know if you want to be successful in tournaments. If you do enjoy this video, please do drop a like and subscribe. We have just hit 15,000 subscribers so thank you everyone so much on the road to 20k begins. Thanks guys and let's get straight on into today's video. Video. Okay, so starting off with tip number one, it's all going to be about learning how to effectively use the new hover jets or also known as jetpack. Now these are quite hard to find on the map, but for most solo victory cup finals games, if you're going to win, you need a jetpack. And as well, they are the main form of rotation this season. So they're going to be used in all sorts of modes, whether it's the solos or duos cash cups, for example. But there's three main things which you want to learn about the jetpack. The first thing is how to do the generic dashes. Now I will show this all on screen. Again, the generic dashes is basically like an unlimited grim gate dash from a few seasons ago and if you correctly use the jetpack I believe you have to double tap space and then hit left ships and then double tap control and that allows you to basically jolt for yourself forwards with the boost feature and then slide and you can unlimited times too this is basically like having unlimited dashes again the jetpack does recharge over time the second thing you can do with the jetpack is use it to get into an enemy's box if they are weak even if they are holding the wall if you simply spray their wall and hold forwards and boost at the correct time you can boost straight into their box they won't know you're in there behind them you get a free elimination simple as and the third thing that I wanted to show you guys about the jetpack is when you combine it with the fizz feature and you combine it with the slide and you allow yourself to keep doing this using the jetpack combined with fizz actually allows you to go further as you guys would imagine so overall the jetpack is a really op item and it's going to be at the center if you guys do want to be successful in this season now moving on to tip number two it's going to be quite a short tip but it's all focused around the importance of the forecast tower spawns now as you guys know there are multiple forecast tower spawns across the map same as there was in previous seasons and killing the ai in order to get the key card and redeeming it allows you to see the future zones now this is extremely important in solo victory cups especially but duo cash cups it can be useful as well now the reason for this is because there's no longer just crash pads within a competitive meta on nitro like we saw in last season where you can just pop a nitro combine it with a crash pad or fizz pad and you can just get straight into zone we don't have that anymore all we have is the hover jets which yes they are op but if you can combine them with knowing exactly where the zone's going to go you're going to save yourself mats because loads of people are going to have to use a lot of mats in this meta in order to tarp into zone so getting forecast this season is way more important than previous seasons and definitely something i would try and focus on and incorporate into your loot route if you guys can for my third tip, I want to talk about playing a new smart drop spot. Now, the reason for this and the reason why I say you guys want to get a new drop spot this season is because you need to incorporate these doom chests that have now been added to the game into your loot route. Now, the reason for this is because the doom chests have a much higher rate of giving you the jetpack or the hover jets, which are going to be crucial again, like I'm saying, if you guys want to rotate and get far into end games, you need to have the hover jets. So you want to find these doom chests. I believe the drop rate is still only about one in five for these hover jets. They're really hard to find, but hey, if you can get your hands on them and you know how to correctly use them with the help of tip number one then you're going to be ahead of the rest of the lobby so it's a win-win situation now there are a few examples of new places or places that were in it last season that have been given these doom chests so for example sandy steps now has a couple doom chests as well as other drops like summit base camp and summit temple if you guys are looking to you know find a new drop with these doom chests simply head over to fortnite.gg you can filter by the doom chest and you can see where they are on the map i'll pop it up on screen for you guys and that will help you guys out when trying to find a new drop spot for this season my fourth tip is all going to be about playing the meta guns or this new meta so let me explain exactly what i mean so you guys want to be mainly using the burst as your main ar because the burst seems to be the strongest at the moment whether it's for surge tags or just for overall pressure onto your opponent now you can actually two burst shots a freshly built wood wall so as long as it's not fully built you can two burst it and that can be useful in fighting up close and if you want to re uh, replace your enemy's wall for example and then look to peace control them you can also carry the new dual micro smgs in close contact they are great for bleed damage due to them being some of the fastest firing rate we've ever seen in Fortnite. So that's really, really good and is great for W King. But again, I'm not sure it's going to be a massive thing uh, for like long distance surge tags or something. It's purely a close distance weapon. Next up, talking about shotguns, I still think the Gatekeeper is still the best in the meta, but we have seen the Sovereign get buffed today. I think mainly it's just personal preferences. You can make an argument for each shotgun in this meta, so it's completely up to you guys in which one you do want to pick up and be successful with. As well, we've got the new Monarch Pistol, which does 1.5 times damage when aims down sight, meaning you can get like 70 plus damage tags from really far away with this pistol, and it uses light ammo, so it's insane for surge tags and stuff like that. I think this pistol is going to be quite meta in the uh, duo cash cup, for example, when you're looking to open engagement. A big 
big like it's sort of like a dmr for last season so that's going to be really op at a long range trying to get surge tags or open an engagement with the health advantage now for my penultimate tip because i got a bonus tip at the end of today's video i want to talk about taking accountability of the mistakes which you make now this meta that we're in is a very balanced meta compared to last season especially when we had like the nitro and the nitro fist which basically just killed last season's meta in this meta, the players who will place higher and who are the most skilled are going to be the people that can adapt to the meta the fastest, and they will be the most successful. This is why we see pros do so well, because people like Peterbot adapt to the meta every single time. Now, what this means, though, is that if you die in this meta, it won't be because of some silly OP item that's in the game, but instead a crucial mistake which you made in the build up to your death. It's important that you guys go back and review and identify the mistake which you made, which ended up costing you. Now, I do want to say that if you can't identify on your own or you struggle to see your own mistakes, please feel free to send it in the Discord. I have a Discord link in description. We'll happily help you guys out. It's important to get other people's opinions and viewpoints on what caused you guys to die, whether it be in a solo victory cup game, Dura cash cup, etc. Because this is crucial if you guys are trying to grind and improve. You can't just look for it for your viewpoint. You need other people's opinions as well. Now finally a quick little bonus note that I want to talk about is that today there's been an update and the War Machines arsenal has been removed fully from comp. So this basically means we were in the most balanced meta we've had in the entirety of chapter 5, maybe bar chapter 5 season 1. So this is great, it's going to be great for competitive and it should really help you guys do well in tournaments. So good luck everyone, that's all from me, I hope you have enjoyed, please make sure you've dropped a like and subscribed, I'll see you in the next one, peace out.